put that away. Short. The track will still be on the slow side, so plenty of time there for him. One will have to put that away for a boundary. That's another top edge. And that's gone for a boundary. Wow, well, it's defensive no time. There's the edge. Wow. <laughs> He's deciding to cut loose. Or variation, maybe it's success. Oh, wow. Now well, that is some hit. Camera away, that's beautiful. Played in front of square in full control. Length now. Sure, if I let's up in the circle, I'll go for four. That's a really good shot. Beautifully done. Just a nudge down the ground, continuing with his work, and I will hug 50 from 60 balls. But this time, we're taking it here. 100 is up. Shot to catch it. It will be taken. Oh, dear. There we go. Good job. Bit of a roll. Luxury, and as we've seen throughout the series, he doesn't often get it wrong. Oh. Brilliant, he played. He's so aware of where the gap is, and he's just looking for that little bit of width from Larkin. Brilliant. He won't be impressed with that start. Thought the man up. Two minutes into the free those arms, he's on his way for four. Not to be done, that might win, it will win. Oh, that's better. Very clever indeed. In position before the ball is released, pretty much, and just hopped it on its way. Fine for four. been smashed for four. One bounce, just inside the rope. Squeezed away fine, and that's going to be four more. That takes him to 96 now. Well, a hard done by it, because it wasn't a full ball. Because Jorka, uh, just a little bit wider of the uh, stumps. That could have been intentional, but all it needed was an outside edge. There he is on 99. There's a way for a while, and that's his 100. Back to back, hundreds. That's a magnificent feat achieved by Fuckers and Arm. He should be mighty pleased and proud of what he's achieved on this tour. Good on him. Really well done. So often happens if someone gets a big score and they don't double up and they don't get big runs the next game, but he was so determined clearly today. This has been another spectacular hundred, it really has. A different hundred. <laughs> up and out, out this time, no guy upstairs. Not happy with himself. For sure. Get up. Yay! Oh, we're going upstairs, are we? We are. But they're confident, South Africa, Clausen, straight away, cheering and running towards Maharaj, who's having a super day. Oh, yes. You think the things can be telling around you? South Africa, claiming, oh, oh dear, oh yes, he's gone. Hassan, getting stumped. <laughs> Nobody there. Nobody there, Bala picking his gap and away it goes for all. Oh, that black ball. From which they'll launch again, that's a tough shot. So, we'll be well aware of, of what ought to happen and just how to do it. Not just up another milestone, Baba Razan. Shot. Here it be done. That's a great shot. Oh, he's got out. Can you believe it? He's opening up the offside to try and whack it over extra cover and he's dragged it, but he's dragged it straight back. Set the six boundaries so far. I mean, this is the key. If I get a few tough deliveries to Fahim, it's a, it's a worth the gamble. In fact, not only got balls, you got yourself a wicket. Brilliant. Yay! What a catch that is. My goodness, that is a blinder from the skipper. They took change of the field. They took a short 45 from the next side across the offside and strengthened it with full men up in the inner ring. Square on the offside. And eventually comes to straight and an expletive that comes out because he knows that was not what he wanted to do. That's nasty struck. Those are some of the shots that uh, it's easy goes fast there. He's getting picked off and that's another wonderful strike. A slight match he goes. Well, again, I think, yes. The two men on the boundary really turned around onto the bank. This is a fantastic over for Pakistan in many ways, rectifying the interests of one less side. They're going to pull things back. Delivery, same result. Absolutely brilliant. 25 from that over, and that is fantastic from Pakistan. Brings up the 200. You see, Pakistan's got onto outside the stump in the middle of it. And I said it was going to be difficult. It's a slow delivery, but it's a drag down. Oh, the slow delivery drag down again, and that's way back. It's the picking to this for him. So it's still in the cards. The last delivery needs to be a maximum. Up, and is it enough? No, it's not going to be. And it's taken in the outfield, so it's probably three or four meters short. But thoroughly deserving of the applause he will get as he makes his way off the ground. It's not the century we've been after. 94 of 82 deliveries and coupled with a performance of 32 for Deborah from Hassan Ali. This has been spectacular from Pakistan. Next side, away, nice play. That's the first down ring. That's a very good shot from Markram. Always oh, pick that up as well. That's a pick up shot for six. Oh, that's nice play. That's back of the square on the outside for four. That's gone extremely quickly. Over the top. Fun strike, couple of bounces, and that's four runs.
Nice. Shot. Ah, yes. That is a beautiful shot. Shot. Picked it up so early. It's a big appeal. It's a big appeal. And really what we're looking for is if there's a, a scratch on it as it goes past. And that's onto pad. It looks like it's just pad from that picture. We'll check the LBW too. It's missing off. It's some distance. People didn't look that exuberant. All right, don't try edge. What is happening here? Oh, there you go. There's the edge. Then the edge onto the pad. Yeah, and then onto the pad as well. Uh, I think that this is a massive breakthrough. They get this as out. I'll try it. They're showing a little bit of wood. A little bit of inside edge. I think the impact was, was probably pad and then bat. Or maybe bat and then pad. <laughs> there you go. There's confirmation. It's a breakthrough that Pakistan needed. Shot, shot. Found it again. Ah! Two. That's the delivery you've got to watch out for. We've seen it a couple of times in the T20s in Pakistan. It's their ability to come out of the front of the end and skill quicker than you think. Too many of those, and it's a really easy picking. Something with Tim and Bukuma. It's nice to play. Very nasty play by Tim and Bukuma. He's very good at manipulating the ball forward and looking on the offside and the next side. That's good if you play it over pitch to get in. There it is again. Has he got the edge? Right, just sliding down the next side, I feel. Bukuma giving himself some. Room in order to open up the offside, I think he was dragged down, he might have to punch it away. We aren't going to go upstairs. Oh! Oh, Paul! Got him! Got him! Looking to use his feet, the next is the next side. The hundred it was. Gets his second stop. I just feel that the situation might have got the two wickets. Yes, the bowler's got the, to get the ball in the right area. He's got it in the right area. But Milan and got him. But boom the ball before. Throws his head back after picking single and then going, oh, can't run. And then decides I'll get down to him and try and work it onside. Shot, big shot, big shot. And the finger goes up. If not crashing into it. Yeah, no bat at all. Now we wait for the evidence. We always thought that something was going to give to try and access. Few boundaries, so definitely pitching in line. And on tie score. So the partnership is broken. And it's that man again. One of the wise picking up his third stop. There's confirmation. It's relation for Pakistan. That stop edge. Safely done. That's big shot. What a shot that is. Oh, another stylish play. Played shot this time through twice. Very much sure of X6s and 7s. Now, trying to face off of just over one footy, you need to be a little bit more accurate than he's doing with last two. Oh, that is gone. Huge, humongous six. We need to put the boundaries early in the over. Now there's one. That'll help their cause. That's a free hit, and that's one for six. So that's a lovely way for Verona to finish the over. Four runs. Stay as is. What a shot that is. That's a magnificent strike. Shot. Oh, wow, he plays him. Oh, he does. Oh, I don't know if he's got that. I don't know if he's got that. It has a slower ball again. Oh, that's gone straight up in the air. Harris Rao, oh, and the keeper's going as well. They owned it. They owned it, Safras. It was a bounce on Harris Rao's head, I reckon. He had to get up the way because Safras said it was his. Left it to the man with the gloves and he's made no mistake. Another big blow. Oh, a massive blow and well caught by Safras. He was ready for the sky and, well, we've got a feel for Atla Coyle because he batted brilliantly. He had no choice really but to go hard, go at the stumps so that he could hit that six or a bit wicket. Sky it up in the air, probably a top edge. Hoping against hope that that'll be grasped. Or oh, confusion between the two fielders. Safras circling under it and catching it. Valuable take, valuable catch. And with that catch, probably gives Pakistan the advantage as well. Massive advantage. Probably a win. Beautiful. That's a top hit by Manaraj. There's a shout. There's a shout. There's something on that. Yes, the finger's gone up. Buren Hendricks is gone. That's gone. Almost. Boom! Struck it again. This time it's gone all the way. Six up. Full toss. A slow ball. And it's been swatted away. And that is that. South Africa all out 292. It's Pakistan ruling by 28 runs. They also 